Now, one of the words that comes out of the amplified version, the definition of helper is the fact is standby. And you've got a fantastic illustration that's in your book here. You're coming home from your dad's house and you're gonna drive and tell me what happened. You know, um, standby, he's, he's there for regular use or emergencies. That's and it. so a standby, when you have an emergency, <laughs> you just need him right then. And so I was driving back, we have an interstate, I was going about 70 miles an hour. I was, I had both hands on the wheel. Um, I wasn't listening to the radio. I was just thinking back on my visit with my father and I uh, went to pass a car and I went to pass her and instead of, you know, nobody was on the road, just she was there and I was there and I went to pull in around her and suddenly she just made a perpendicular move to the left, right straight in front of me. And so going that fast, I slammed on the brakes as hard as I could, but I knew I was gonna plow into her and I could just see her head over the door in the window in her car. And I just, um, somehow God, kept me from hitting her broadside, but I spun around and she spun around. And then our cars were like bumper cars, you know, when you <laughs> just crash into each other, the glass, the braking metal, the, when I came out of the spin, um, I found myself going across the interstate straight, headed for an embankment when I knew uh, I would crash down, I don't know how many feet. And, uh, and just at that time, I put on the brakes, this time my brakes, pulled the car to a stop and I, I slowed to a stop beside the road. And, and the most amazing thing was in my ear, I heard cheering and high-fiving and, and that was tremendous. What a great piece of driving. You did great. And um, there was nobody in my car. I had, it was below freezing outside. There are two um, other vehicles that had stopped to just stick their Face in the I couldn't speak to them, they thought I was in shock, but I was listening to what I believe was an angelic chorus of the standby who had sent his angels to guard me in a situation like that. I pulled out of it. My car was not quite totaled, but it was just a mess. Her car was totaled, but both of us walked away from that accident without any damage to ourselves. You know? And so the point I want to make, John, is that um, when you have an emergency, you don't have time to prepare for it. Mm -hmm. So there's no time to confess your sin, get right with God, claim Jesus as your Savior, invite the Holy Spirit to come in. All you can do is just say, help me, God, help me. And, and so it's important to establish that personal relationship with God before the emergency rises, because emergencies are emergencies because they're emergencies. You know? mm -hmm. They're crises. We, we can't plan for them or expect them or know when they're coming. They just boom. And all of a sudden, you know, your spouse has walked out. All of a sudden, you've been fired from a job. All of a sudden, your kid is in rebellion. All of a sudden, you're in a car accident. All of a sudden, the doctor says you're dying. You know, it's just all of a sudden like that. And, and at that moment, your emotions, you're almost frozen on the inside. You don't know what to do except say, help me. Yep. And the Holy Spirit is standing by to help you when we call on him.